Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? I hope you all are doing great. If you are new here in my channel, my name is Payal and welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about beginner's guide for makeup and in this video I will be showing you the full face of makeup including everything so that you get some ideas and you know how to get it done by yourself. I hope you will learn something from the video and you will enjoy watching it. So if you are ready, let's begin. do priming is the first thing you do your eyes first you do something else doesn't matter you need to prime your whole face if you are not comfortable wearing the i mean applying the primer before your eyeshadow you can skip that you can apply the primer onto your eyelid and leave the face but i will apply it to the whole face and will also apply it to the eyelid and under eye i'm using smashbox photo finish minimize pores primer you can use any primer you have Once the primer is done, you can move on to your eye makeup. Take any concealer you have. I'm using LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige and will apply that onto my eyelid. This will be my eyeshadow base. I'm taking a blending brush. This is pack 272. If you want, you can take a sponge or a beauty blender as well. Next, take your compact powder and set the eyelid. I will be using MAC Studio Fix in the shade NC35. You can use any compact powder you have or you are comfortable with. Now your eyelids are ready for eyeshadow. You can take any eyeshadow palette you have. I will be using Huda Beauty Ruby Obsession and this palette looks something like this. For eyeshadow, first we apply a transition color. Now what is a transition color? Transition color is something which makes the blending easy in between two shades. Uh, if you apply a shade, darker shade, onto your eyelid in this area and you apply something here to kind of blend that shade with the brow bone shade we always apply a shade which is pretty light onto our brow bone to kind of highlight the brow bone and we apply something which is a little dark to our eyelid and to blend those two we use a color which is in between not too light not too dark according to your skin tone and apply that to create a smooth transition i hope you understood that and we'll be using this color for the transition and i'm using pack 028 brush to apply that we'll apply that right above my crease line so i'm just applying it to the outer corner and while blending i'm bringing it to the inner corner like this next we'll move on to the next shade and i will take this red shade from the ruby obsession palette and i'm taking pack 228 brush to apply that color this is also a blending brush but this is little precise than the other one i was using we'll apply that color at my crease line you can see my crease line and i'm applying almost where my eyes are creasing and then we'll start blending right away and we'll blend it in to the inner corner little by little will not go like crazy because we want the intensity to the outer corner not to the inner corner but still we want little bit of the blending to the inner corner so that it is not looking really harsh or anything Next I'm going to take the same brush I was using earlier and I'm not taking any shade or any color into it. Whatever residue is left I will just apply that here kind of trying to blend the red shade I have applied later. And here you can see I'm almost covering the brow bone but don't worry later I will highlight my brow bone and that time all this will be removed and I will show you how I do that. 
Next, we'll take this shade from the palette and we'll use the same blending brush, pack 228. This time, we'll apply this very low and close to the lash band here and we'll concentrate to the lower lid. Then I will just go a little high to blend the shade with the other red shade I have applied earlier like this. And if you are a little scared to kind of apply too much, you can tap the excess as well. And here you need to go very light handed. Don't uh, hold the brush like this. You might go very uh, intense. It will apply very intense. Hold the brush from the bottom like this. This way you will go light handed and there is no possibility to kind of mess it or apply too much. Next, I'm going to take this shade and will use my finger to apply that. I will apply that to the middle of my eyelid like this. Next, I'm going to take this light shade from the palette and using my finger, I will apply that to the inner corner. Next, we'll move on to eyeliner. I will be using Inglot Gel Eyeliner in the shade Black and we'll use this wing eyeliner brush from Sigma. This is E06. Next, we'll move on to the rest of my face. So, our primer was already on. So, we'll move on to foundation. We'll take L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And the shade is 105 Neutral Beige. So, we'll apply that where I want the maximum coverage. Next, I'll take this foundation brush. This is a Kabuki brush from Sigma. You can use your beauty blender as well. I'm blending the foundation and here I am not lifting my base. I'm just going in, kind of patting the brush into my skin. Next, we'll apply the same concealer, Creamy Beige from LA Girl Pro Conceal and we'll conceal the under eye. I'm going to take the concealer brush I was using earlier, 272 and we'll blend the concealer. Next, we'll move on to contour and I will be using uh, this LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toast. So yes, we'll place the contour here. And I do apply it here as well. Now I'm going to use this brush. This is P50 from Wet n Wild uh, to blend the contour. No. Next, I'll take uh, my concealer and will highlight the bridge of my nose, the tip as well and also will apply some here to the side of my nose. Then we'll go with the concealer brush and we'll blend that. Uh, 
and why we're doing this step to kind of make our nose look little more small because when i have applied that contour it was kind of little sloppy a little here and there so kind of removing the excess whatever was little too down onto my nose and applying the bridge of the nose always helps your nose to kind of look little small and snatched and sharp and also we'll just uh, blend this area with the same brush some residue of the concealer will help to blend the harsh line here i will use a cream blush from faces canada this is their all time pro blendy five stick in the shade passionate pink if you want you can apply a powder blush as well for that you need to apply your powder you need to set your face and then you need to go with your blush we'll just dot it here onto the apple of my cheek and you can smile to kind of find where you need to place the blush on we'll go back to the foundation brush and we'll blend it now we'll set the whole face using my compact powder you can use any compact powder you have i'm using mac studio fix nc35 Now here I need to mention one thing that after you apply your concealer directly go to your compact or a loose powder whatever you use to set the concealer take that and apply that right away so that your concealer is not creasing because concealer has a tendency to crease way faster than foundation so you cannot keep it sit there for a while otherwise the crease all the fine lines will be prominent and it will not look good so today i kind of forgot to do that but uh, always remember to set your concealer right after you apply and blend them i'm using this l'oreal genius kit brow artist and here is two shades this is a gel and this is a powder so first we'll just apply the powder to fill in any gap Then we'll take the gel and we'll use the spoolie to kind of set all the hair in in place. Next I'm going to take a precision brush and this is pack 202. We'll take the red shade from here and we'll apply that to the under eye. We'll cover the whole lid. Next I'm going to take this shade and using the same brush I will apply that only to the outer half. Next to highlight my brow bone I will use this shade from the palette. If you don't have a lighter shade in your palette, you can totally use your highlighter to highlight your brow bone. And I'm using a small fan brush from Pack. This is 390 to apply that. We'll apply that very close to the eyebrow. For mascara, I will be taking Lala Lash from K Beauty. We'll take this lip liner. This is from Maybelline. This is color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the shade Rich Chocolate.
For lipstick, I will take K Beauty Melodrama. This is their lip crayon. That was it for today's makeup tutorial guys. I hope you have learned something. I will come up with this kind of videos more in my channel so that I can help all the beginners out there because most of my learning about makeup is from YouTube and I kind of want to give it back here to the people who cannot afford a makeup course or anything so that they can learn at least the basic from their home from the internet so yes with that I will be saying you bye we'll see you soon in my next video video i would request you to subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this if you're interested into makeup and if you want to learn and know more then please consider subscribing also hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button to get notified every time i post a new video we'll see you soon till then stay happy stay healthy stay beautiful Bye bye